Welcome to Agoracom, the small cap episode on Agoracom TV, a daily fast-paced, edgy show, bringing the best press release out of the small cap space every morning at the open so you probably profit from them and maybe find your next great small cap investment. It's Tuesday, September 20th. I've got five press releases for you. Unlike yesterday, resources are dominating again. Let's start you off first with Foundation Resources. Congratulations, my friend Nelson Da Silva and his group over there. Trades on the venture on the stock symbol FDN. They put out a 4 through 101 mineral resource estimate uh, that reports, according to their terminology, significant contained ounces of gold. This is for their East Coldstream gold deposit in Ontario. Uh, the company says there are currently four other significant gold targets on the property which are not part of the current resource estimate. Here are the numbers. Inferred resource, 763 ounces of 763,000 ounces of gold indicated 96,500 ounces of gold. I'm rounding up there. They closed yesterday 18 and a half cents, 60 on the 52 week high, 10 and a half on the low. Uh, today, foundation trading up 5% on 70,000 shares to 19 and a half. So the market likes the news. Uh, good news there. Carpathian Gold, TSX CPN uh, put out drew results, including 438 meters of 0.83 grams ton of gold and 0.19% copper. This is a 35,000 meter uh, drill program uh, on their project in Romania. Focus of the program is the gold rich Cetisada copper porphyry deposit. Five drill rigs are presently working and what they're trying to do there, amongst other things, upgrading the inferred resource to the measured plus indicated resource categories. Now, that headline number that I gave you, that was a gold equivalent of 1.23 grams per ton of gold equivalent over 438 meters. Uh, on another hole, that 360 meters of 1.01 grams ton of gold equivalent. So some pretty nice numbers there. On a company-wide base, they've got several projects here. Uh, the corporation currently hosts 43101 uh, 43 resources. Uh, 4 million ounces of gold in the measured plus indicated, 4.5 million ounces of gold in the inferred, as well as about 760 million pounds of copper in the measured plus indicated, and 663 million pounds of copper in the inferred category. Closed yesterday, 69 cents, had a very tight trading range over the last 52 weeks, 38 cents on the, on the low, 77, uh, 77 cents on the high. Carpathian today up 3 cents nicely, 72 cents, 306,000 shares, that's up four and a half percent so the market likes this news in fact i'm seeing a lot of green right now for some of the juniors bayfield ventures tsx venture b y v and for friends in germany b4n uh they're hitting a, uh almost had to double take this 1415 grams ton of silver over one meter uh the company's calling these additional significant silver intercepts on their 100 owned burns block property uh, <coughs> pardon me which is in ontario uh, that headline number I gave you occurs with previously reported 89.95 grams ton of gold. Uh, they also hit 14 meters of 35.35 grams ton of silver and 23 meters of 11.9 grams ton of silver. Assays are pending on 37 uh, other completed uh, holes. So you know there's going to be new soil coming out of the company. 51 cents where they closed at yesterday. 50 is their 52-week low. $1.25 on the high. Bayfield this morning up one penny to 52 cents on just under 40,000 shares. Moving on to Magellan Minerals, TSX Venture, MNM, Mary, Nancy, Mary, 27 meters, 6.94 .94 grams on a gold. Uh, this on their project in Brazil. There results from seven additional step out and expiration holes. Uh, the company says this headline number represents another new zone of gold mineralization. Uh, they closed yesterday 60 cents, $1.94 on the, on the high. 52 on the 52-week low uh, this morning. Magellan trading up nicely. Five cents. It's only on 4,000 shares, though, to 65 cents on 8.3%. Uh, 8 uh, bid nasto is 63.65. So it is a bit of a healthy start. Given where uh, it's 52-week trading range, uh, it may be a nice entry point for you. Finally, last but not least, Constein Metal Resources, TSX Venture, CEM. Uh, they announced that they hit 18.79 grams ton of gold over four meters, including 166.5 grams ton of gold over uh, 0.4 meters. The company is calling these, uh, company is calling these final round of results uh, with several new high-grade gold intersections on their 100% owned Monroe uh, Crocious Gold Project, which is east of Timmins. The company also says near-surface high-grade veins have been intersected, uh, including the headline number 
and 18.03 grams on a gold over 1.24 meters. They closed yesterday 17 and a half cents, 38 and a half on the 52 week high, 10 cents on the low. This morning, Constantine Minerals uh, hasn't traded yet. Uh, bid and ask is uh, 17 and a half to 18 and a half. So it looks like it's going to be a little bit stronger, but a stalemate right now. That's a wrap. As always, quality over quantity. Five great press releases for you this morning. If you look for more great small cap resource companies and you watch this on Globe Investor, then I'd look below me or to the left of me uh, to discover the companies we've covered over the past few days. Otherwise, if you're not already there, get to the front page of Agoracom. Watch this show on a daily basis. Take a look at the best headlines on my right and get into our marketplace to discover your next great small cap stock. That's a wrap. Have a great day. See you tomorrow.